Hi folks, just a quick video here. So I recently picked up a Predator 212 engine for a power washer build. And following the instructions that were in the Predator's manual, I went ahead and did a break-in on it. As it was uh, kind of winter time, I ran some 5W30 fully synthetic motor oil in it. And um, when I went and changed the oil, much like some others have reported when doing a break-in on a Predator engine, I don't know if you can see that, but there was quite a bit of glitter in that uh, in that oil. So this was three hours of break-in um, with the engine idling. There was maybe maybe two minutes of the engine uh, that I throttled up at the end just to to let it run in before I changed the oil. So um, tried to come up with uh, an idea here uh, to do actually a uh, like a kidney loop, a bypass oil filter. Um, so I, I bought a couple of things to try and piece that together. The first was a set of uh, barbed fittings uh, with an M10 by one and a quarter thread. So I picked these up off of Amazon for just a couple of bucks. So two, two barbed fittings. Uh, and then I actually picked up this little, this little oil pump here. So this is a, a 12 volt extraction pump that's used for pumping oil. It says it's good for oil up to 60 centigrade, which is, I don't know, 150, 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So as long as I don't get the oil too hot, it should be okay. And it can pump uh, about 0.2 liters per minute um, of motor oil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up this little pump. I'm gonna run this on a, on a 12 volt car battery. Get this open here so you guys can see this. So it's uh, just a little, little 12 volt pump extraction pump I think this was 17 bucks on Amazon um, so we'll, we'll try and hook this up it comes with tube that actually fits those uh, those fittings that I just showed you and what I'm gonna do is run that across a, a Fram G3 uh, fuel filter so we'll see if the oil passes through the fuel filter all right um, Best research I could find said that this was about a 25 micron filter. Uh, it's a paper media type filter here, but it had a metal cap on it. And um, at 25 micron, it should pick up those visible chunks of aluminum that were uh, in the oil pan. So I'm going to um, pipe this in on the oil drain ports on the Predator 212 and run it for a couple of hours and then cut the filter apart and see what we have in the filter. So stay tuned. All right, folks, so here's the setup. So I've got oil in the engine now. So we've got the one barbed fitting here attached on one side of the crankcase with a, uh, with a hose clamp. Uh, the tubing, so this is quarter inch tubing, run into the suction side of the pump here. Didn't have enough hose clamps, so I've just used zip ties to, uh, to affix it there. A short run of tube into the Bottom side of the fuel filter, so flow on this filter goes that way. So through the filter and then back around and into the pan. So at 0.2 liters per minute, this is a uh, half quart of oil in this. It'll take it a couple of minutes probably to, to pump through this pan and through the filter, but I figure over the course of a couple of hours that should be able to catch some debris in that, uh, in that fuel filter. And some might be asking, you know, why do this? It's a hundred dollar engine. That's a great question. I could just take it back, but hey, I work on engines for a living and uh, glitter in the oil pan makes me nervous. So, you know what, for 20, about 20 bucks for this thing and $3 for a filter and $5 for, uh, for some uh, fittings to go into the oil pan, figured for just under 30 bucks, why not give it a try and see if it works? At least that'll save me a trip back to Harbor Freight with the engine if it does blow up. Plus, hey, I'd really like the Harbor Freight 212 to work out for me. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and put some heat into the engine and we'll turn on the pump and we'll see if we get some flow in here. Should note, you know, this is probably several ounces of oil here. So I'm gonna let it uh, sit here and saturate and then uh, top off the crankcase and make sure that it's all the way up to the full line um, before we go ahead and start running. So here we go. All right, so quick note guys, I just flipped the pump on here, which I have hooked up to a, an old car battery. Um, and it really pumps. It's going to be turning the pan over 
a lot faster than 0.2 liters per minute, which is what the box says in terms of flow rate with motor oil in it. So just to give you a listen here without the engine running, you can't see it, but it's pumping through the filter here without, without any problem. So the pump says it's able to run at a five amp load for up to 30 minutes. So we're gonna try this for just a couple minutes at a time here to make sure I don't burn out the pump. And if it looks like it's doing okay, then we'll let it run for a little bit longer. Alright folks, so here we go. We uh, did another three hours of break-in on the Predator 212 here with the little bypass loop filter setup arrangement. As you can see, the oil is quite a bit darker than when we started a couple of hours ago. And uh, happy to report that the $20 Amazon pump still pumps. So it, uh, it survived the oil temperatures and the couple hours of the engine running, sitting here shaking, rattling around. So what I'm going to do now is pump this oil out into a clean pan there. So the old, old oil is out, clean, uh, clean pan, and we'll see if we have any metal, metal particles in it. And then we will cut open our filter and see what we see. All right, folks, so here's the results. This is the oil drained out of the... Predator 212 after another three hour break in running it through a bypass filter. And I don't know if you can see that, trying to hold it up into the light here. But uh, the oil looks really good in comparison to the oil that came out after the first three hours of running. So I don't see any glitter in the oil pan here. I did clean this pan out very well before I dumped this back in there. And then I went ahead and cut apart the filter, so the filter did hold up. Um, it was still glued together very, very well. <clears throat> so I let this sit on some paper towel to suck all the oil out. And to my surprise, if I look across the filter media here, you can see down in the middle of the V's as I move along here, there is all kinds of good glittery stuff that got caught in this filter. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, claim success on this. There's all kinds of stuff that I wouldn't want rolling around in the engine during the break-in and ending up in a bearing or scoring a, uh, a rod or a, a main journal. So um, I think this worked out really well. So go ahead and give it a shot. I'll put a link in the description to all of the uh, supplies that I use for this test. And uh, good luck. But so far, so good. I think the Predator is ready for running now. I will be changing the oil every couple of hours on it, probably for the first few oil changes, just to see if there's anything more that comes out of it. But uh, the filter really worked out well. All right, thanks for watching guys, take care.